Okay. So I just want to share more about water because people don't seem to take it as important as they should. Okay. So people continue to buy the bottled water in the supermarket. So that water has not been tested by you, has it? Because if you do test it, you're going to see the levels of the water. You're going to learn, hopefully, how to test your water. So what I do is, as you know, I have my own water uh, system. I refill my five gallon jugs and I have a video on it separately and it also shows how I test my water. Okay, so now these are the 16 ounce bottles that I reuse. I recycle them. Why throw them out? Right? This is from my kombucha. Now I make my own kombucha, so I don't need to buy kombucha in the store. But these bottles are very handy. And I have the lids. So, what I do is, let me give you a little demonstration. Okay, so this is my water that I refill, and I use a pump to refill it. Okay, I also do distilling. Okay, and I might as well give you the whole show. And so, I distill water as well, or I buy it in the store, okay? Let me give you a close look of how this goes. So this is my blue water. I mean, my refilled water, I call it blue. And, and in all actuality, uh, if you pour it into a white bucket the way I did the other day, surprisingly, it is blue water. It's got a tint, a, a, a Sort of, it looks like a tincture of blue, but it's so clean that you don't even need to test it. All right. So, in fact, let me see if I could do this before you. I've never done this. I'm going to spill out all the... Let me just test. Because when I poured the water the other day into a blue bucket, I could see the tincture of blue. I can't see it on this. For some odd reason. Ah, I could see it mildly. Since the cup is, 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 is colored, it's got to be pure white for you to see the blueness in it. And, and so I'm very picky according to my slide that I provided you, to you in another video. Uh, I am very, very picky as to where I refill my bottled waters. I test that site, the water from that site first. Um, and then... I continue to go to that location, right? Now, I also have built my own water purifier, but that's for another film. Okay. So now the way this operates is, um, this is the distiller. It, it, some of them take up like 220 instead of 110, I noticed. Uh, this is not the one I've always used. I ordered this on Facebook Marketplace. I had to clean it out. Uh, it came disgustingly, uh, here, I'll show you. Let me just open the lid so you can see the inside of it. Uh, okay. So it came with a lot of cruddy stuff underneath, which is really the residue uh, that this distiller is actually cleaning out. It's really that, but they just sent it to me all dirty and, and it took me like a day and a half to, to have that stuff removed. And this is the flip side of the distiller. So now I removed this part here. And, um, so this is where you will put the charcoal bag. You see some charcoal bags in there. And um, you would locate this in here. Uh, this is really for another film, to be honest with you. And I don't remember how to do this. How this is done. Let me see. Like this. Okay. So here it goes. So I just snap it in. Okay. 
And so the water comes out through here, first is boiled, and it's raised through some fans. This has fans inside of it. Okay, so there are fans in there, and that's how it distills, okay? So this is, I'm going to go back to distilling water. It's just that, I mean, it's only a gallon, and it takes a couple of hours before it distills from one gallon, so I really buy it. Uh, I've tested the water from uh, Great, um, uh, I forget, from Walmart, you know, whatever that company is. And you, you got to constantly test it because sometimes they start to get cheap on you. And, and what you trusted is no longer a trusted source. So just be very careful and buy the stick that I, I showed you in my other film uh, that I use. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I, I want to show you something here first. All right. So I'm going to refill all of these bottles with water. As you can see, there are a couple of funky things, things here that look funky. Okay. So I fill this with water. And I leave a little space on the top and I pour a little bit of this, like a tablespoon of this, and it becomes something like this, okay? An electrolyte water, okay? It tastes even more salty than this because this is what it is. This is salt, right? So usually a drop of this is enough on water, by the way. This is a, another alternative and this, this will last you for years because it's just one drop that you need. So now, rather than doing that, I pour salt in here, and this has been sitting here for a long time, okay? And I never knew what to do with it. I just knew that the salt doesn't fully melt. As you can see, this you see the pink salt underneath, which could be Redmond's or it could be Himalayan pink salt. Uh, Himalayan has been proven to have a little bit of plastic in it, so it's no longer highly rated the way it used to be, but the plastic is going to stay down there. It's not going to dissolve in this water. Regardless, you, you do as you would, right? So I take only one tablespoon and I pour it into a full glass here. And why do I like using these bottles? Because they don't spill. <laughs> if I drop it, it won't spill. Dirt's not going to come on it. And it's better than keeping a rant, using plastic bottled waters because that plastic is not good. The only uh, plastic that would be good is PBA free, something to this effect. And as you can see, the bottles of water that you buy in the store, they, they don't come in PBA free uh, plastic. It would be a lot more costly. Even the more expensive bottle waters that come in plastic don't come in PBA free. They're just taking your money and you're not even testing the water to begin with. So what I do is when I leave my house, sometimes, I, 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 I carry a jug of water with me, but I carry one or two of these with me. Usually that suffices while I'm out. And um, typically, at least I'm always hydrated and I'm always drinking the water that I have tested, not just trusting anybody or any company that just wants to make money off of me, right? Okay, so I'm going to be right back. I'm going to fill all of these uh, waters up and I'm going to pour some of this into here just as a quick illustration. I'll be right back. Okay, so my waters have been filled, my water bottles, right? And now I'm going to pour, I, I labeled this salt. I don't usually drink it all at once, although I should. This should be the first bottle that I drink. Quite frankly, what you really should do is drink one gallon's worth of salted water a day to stay hydrated and your skin will be subtle with, you know, uh, you know, very, very subtle, subtle. Okay. And so I don't go to that extent, but I do like to try and take at least one tablespoon worth of salted water a day. And I'm not even doing that. I used to always be very good in, at, at using my electrolyte drops. Um, but it tastes different, right? But, um, I'm going to promise you that I'm going to make a bigger effort because we all need to improve, right? Even, e even those that preach it, right? Don't necessarily practice it. So see, so now I'm, I'm, I reuse it, right? Uh, not all of these lids always fit. You typically, I don't have a problem, but lately I started to mix them up with the bad lids. And so... This is my water for the day. So this over here, I, this is going to go back. This is my salt. I take one teaspoon, as you saw, I didn't measure it. 
but if you're going out and you don't want to be going to the bathroom all day, it may behoove you to drink one of these so that way you don't have to drink as much, you don't get thirsty as much. At least that's what I think. I'm, I'm not too sure if you get thirsty still, but it holds you, right? So I don't know why I've been mixing the bad. Okay, so I gotta stop mixing them up. Put those bad ones away where you can't find them ever. All right, so I'm going to test my salted water. Okay, let's see if it's salty enough. And it does taste like it has electrolyte in it. Okay, works for me. So I wanted to share this with you because this is about health. Okay. So there's something else that I do. I might as well share this with you. Ah! While well, I'm here. <laughs> Great. Let's see if this thing reaches and it doesn't. Okay. So I'm going to put this on hold. Okay. So. Okay. So this is a bottle that I got at Walmart and I like that it has the... The water comes down really fast on this. And so I realized that I cheated by buying that bottle because it doesn't say PBA free. It does say do not only for cold water and it is made in USA and it's actually my favorite one. But uh, as soon as I fill my water bottle, guess what? The first one that I use is that one. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you my uh, water, Ozonator. I've had this for so long, probably around 16 years that it's discolored. But I'm going to share this with you. Okay? All right, so here we go. This is my Ozonator. You could just shop online for Ozonator. And I got this from China. I used to shop in China like in 2006, way before anybody really started. I even have beauty machines for sale. If anybody is interested in that, please hit me up down at the bottom. And please don't forget to hit the like button, notifications bell, so you won't miss a thing. Share my link, please, won't you? Uh, so I attach a rock, a stone to this. Now, I've already purified this water. I've gone back to not just purifying my water, but to ozonating it, okay? The other bottle that you saw is not ozonated. I use it for cooking. I use it for drinking as well. I mean, I just filled it up on this. But uh, I have to make it a habit to remember that this one over here is ozonated. So just to show you how you can do this... Um, I, I'm, I don't want any spills but because it does bubble it. So I'm going to cheat a little bit so the water spills over to this glass. Okay. So here we go. I put the stone in and I'm going to wind this up uh, for only five minutes, uh, ten minutes. Okay. So you could see that it doesn't hurt to ozonate it as well. Okay. Because ozonating is bringing oxygen into your bloodstream. So you could breathe ozonated water or you could drink I mean you could breathe uh, ozonated air because I could remove this and let it in the air and remove remove the stone uh, so you know when it rains it, you smell the ozone so that's where it comes from ozonated it's ozonated it's cleansed even more it, it, it puts that 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 oxygen that you need into your body now I'm not a doctor or a nurse but I know it's always worked for me. I've always done it. And it doesn't hurt to practice things that may be good for you. Okay. I've done a lot of research on this, but many, many years ago. So I can't give you details, but feel free to look it up because indeed you are worth looking things up for yourself. Never trust anybody, right? I'm just here to give you ideas. I'm not a doctor or a nurse, as I said. So um, I, I ozonate this for 10 minutes. This over here I did for about, uh, what is it, uh, 30 minutes because it's a, a bunch of them. It's a lot of water there. And I think I did it twice, so it could have been for 60 minutes. And so the ozonated water smells like fresh rain water. Okay? And um, I think that people don't pay attention to water the way they should. They just buy these silly bottled waters that are carcinogenic. They're not bottled properly. I use I reuse my glass bottles because this is precious right here. I mean, when I have a glass of water, you know, it's just 
it's just sitting there like that until I finish drinking it and dust is falling into it and and all that stuff and then I could spill it right uh, and I can't just keep it laying around uh, as a collection uh, by my bedside by my computer side uh, where I could just reach out for it and uh, without looking I could just grab it where with this I got to be very careful when I grab it because if I tilt it it spills and breaks so I'm not using glass so much um, uh, if you're a guest, maybe I'll give you a glass. You probably would be disgusted if I offer you a bottle. But these are washed all the time carefully. I don't even want to retake my germs. I'm even careful about that. Um, and I wash it in, in uh, I wash my bottles. I dip them and I pour a little bit of a lemon, lemon vinegar water. And I just rinse it, swish it around, and, I, and then I share it, dip it into the other dirty wa uh, bottled waters, and then I, then I um, rinse it again with just clean, pure water. And that's how I clean my waters. It's just water, you know, nothing to scrub, right? So I hope that you found this helpful because all of these gadgets that I have um, do matter if if you want to have good health. Because if you drink, nobody drinks tap water. I hope, uh, but. Even drinking store-bought water is not guaranteed. Um, some of it is really purely tap water. They don't even tell you that it's clean. So there's no disclaimer and you're still buying it is on you, right? So stock up on your water, especially if you're working from home. Why not? I, I have usually maintain about 10 bottles like this a day, starting from the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning when I get up. And uh, sometimes I drink it all up, you know, because and sometimes if I want to run out the door... I have some bottles already ready to go with me, okay? This one over here stays in a certain section because it's the salted water. Um, and um, for those of you, uh, I'm going to see if I could give a link uh, for my Amazon because the Amazon store is giving me a lot of a hard time uh, establishing it. But it, I will include this because this is something I've been doing for years. This is at least 2010 I've been buying this. It's already 2013. So it's... Um, uh, just so you know, we're at the end of June. Uh, I think it's June 24th, 2023. I think it's good to date everything, but uh, I, I usually do upload stuff with the date of the items. Why? Because sometimes I come up with better ideas and it seems like I'm doing a repeat uh, uh, YouTube video, but sometimes it's because I have an idea that I wanted that I, I never uh, included in certain films. So please do watch all of my films, uh, all of my videos. They all have, most of them have a nugget. Uh, when I'm talking, I may, um, like a, like a squirrel all over the place. And if I get a thought that I feel is good for you, um, I'll throw it in as a nugget. And so I'm going to give you a nugget here, uh, which has nothing to do with water. Okay. So you see these seeds, these are lemon seeds and I, I save all my seeds. Um, and these got green, right? And so... The way you're supposed to save your seeds is this way, in a paper towel. And even uh, if you put your herbs in a paper towel and in a, in a plastic bag, it'll, it'll last longer. Something I don't do, but I should. But you see how, how nice this seed is? Okay. And I plan on planting these. I already bought some good soil, which has been sitting around. And it's I'm, I, I'm growing a green thumb like crazy. Um, I got to show you my plants on another video. Uh, but this is the way they should look. And you plant them and you get some lemon. You, own, you, you plant your own lemon, right? Um, I have also... Let's see if I have any available. I keep the avocado pits. And that's going to be a video for another thing, another time. Because you could grind your avocado pits. Look up the, the, pro uh, the, the properties of it. It's got beneficial properties. But the reason why I save them is to replant them. What do you think I do with this? Yeah, you must think I'm a hoarder, right? Yeah, <laughs> by now. I take these lemons. These are fresh from the farm, by the way. Never washed. And I do a couple of things with them, okay? And that's a story for another film. But I will tell you, I put it in lime water. I pour a powder called lime, grandma's lime, um, pickling lime. And I store these for as long as a year outside of the refrigerator. 
okay, when they're real eggs, right? Now they're shells, right? So what am I doing with the shells? I am grinding my shells, okay? And these are my nuggets, by the way. I say these, of course, right? Because I'm always repackaging things. These are my eggs now. What do you think I do with this? I put it in my vitamin water. This has magnesium and it has calcium. It's really rich. And this is going to last me for at least at least six months. Because it's only a real little tiny bit that I take. Kind of fill a little tiny spoon like this. Like, like, like a, a taste little spoon, right? All right, so that's enough with my presentation on water and my nuggets. I don't always call them nuggets. You just have to listen to everything I say to catch my nuggets. So please watch all of my videos. Give them all a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. And by the way, I would like to hear your comments. Even if it's just thank you, if it's a criticism, please try not to curse. I, I too am learning and I believe that someone's always going to watch that knows more than me and I welcome their knowledge. And so, also, tell me about your experience. If this was shocking to you, if you think uh, it's an overkill on water, just let me hear from you or tell me what state you live in or what country. That would be wonderful because I open uh, my closed caption to many languages and I'd like to know if you're from another country. Thank you so much for listening. I'll let you go now. Have a great, wonderful day. Bye now.